All right, so you're going to start with sort of like a football shape for the eye. Um, you're going to start with like the top of the football, so it's just going to be kind of like a little like hill shape, and then the bottom of the football. But when you get to the corner of the eye, you're going to kind of like dip down a little bit. Um, so you can see like in the left-hand side, I dip down. And then you're doing a circle. Um, you want to make sure your circle kind of like rests on the bottom of your eye and the top of your circle is um, covered by the top of your eyelid. And then I just did a line above my eye for the um, eyelid. And that kind of follows the shape of the eye. I'm doing my pupil in the center of the eye and like a little highlight. So now I'm adding my eyelashes, but when you guys do your eyelashes, um, if you don't have mascara on or like you have shorter eyelashes, you don't want to curl yours quite as much as I did. You want to kind of, um, I'll go over how to make more masculine eyelashes at the end. So if you want to just kind of not do your eyelashes right now, I would wait until the end. Okay, so then I just added a line for my nose. So just like where the shadow of the top of your nose is, and now I'm doing my eyebrow. Okay, now you're gonna measure. So your eyes are like an eye with a part. So I just measured the size of my eye, picked it up to find out where the next eye starts and then that um, kind of gives me where that second eye goes and same thing so I'm doing the top of a football I'm doing the bottom of the football but I'm gonna curve in a little bit in the center so like dip down in the center doing my line for my nose now I'm going to add my circle for my eye. And remember the top of your circle is cut off a little bit. And then I'm adding my pupil right in the center of my eye. I have a little highlight, so a little white dot for a highlight. And then I am doing that eyelid, um, just kind of following the shape of my eye. And then laying in my eyelashes, which again, if you are um, a boy and you have shorter eyelashes or you don't wear mascara and your eyelashes don't curl, you are not going to add the eyelashes yet. You want them to be um, not as curl, not curl as much. So now I'm adding my eyebrows again. And again, that kind of follows the same kind of shape as the eye, but it like frames around where the eye is now I'm gonna lay in where the nose is so the nose is actually right in between so it's even with the corners of your eyes so if I just like measured down from where the corners of my eyes is eyes are and I gave myself like little markers and you're only drawing the bottom of your nose so I did a little circle and now I'm drawing the nostrils and the corners of my nose Right, that's the little like groove above my lips and then the corners of your mouth are going to be even with where your pupils are so this is not the size of your mouth I know that seems kind of big um, those are actually just like the corner like the little shadows on the edge of your mouth so you're gonna draw a line for the center of your lips 
So I kind of do like a little curved line, then like a V shape for the middle of your lips, and then just like two little hills down and out towards the corner of your mouth. And then your bottom lip. So when you guys are doing your mouth, you want to make sure you're looking at your, like, look at a picture of yourself. Um, the lips I drew here are a little bit big. So if you want them to be more, like, accurate to the size of your lips, just, like, look at the size of your lips. And you could make them a little bit skinnier or keep them the same um, size as what I did. All right, so now I'm going to do the chin and the face. All right, so you wanna make sure you don't go too, too far out. So I'm still like, fair, I'm fairly close to where the eye is when I'm starting to build my cheek. And you just kind of lay in almost like a U shape or like a V from your eyes down to the mouth and then underneath the mouth for the side of your cheek. And then we'll lay in the other side. And again, so like if you have a skinnier face, um, you might make your cheeks a little bit thinner. I sort of have like chubby cheeks, so I tend to make my cheeks like a little bit chubby. Um, so like when you're doing yours, just kind of pay attention to like look at what your cheeks actually look like. Now I'm laying in the ears. The ears should be about even with where your eyes are and the bottom of your nose. And because we're looking at the face, the ears are kind of just like really skinny, um, close to the face because we can't really see the entire ear. Now I'm just laying in where the forehead is and where the top of my head is. So this is where um, things are really going to start to get different for you guys because um, you all have like different hairstyles. Um, so you're going to kind of want to do like your own hairstyle here. So I'm kind of doing a girl's hairstyle right now with like the edges. Um, and then I'll go like back into like a bun. So like the hair is pulled back. You guys can kind of do whatever you want. So, um, I'm going to go over in class. Like you can look up different hairstyles. I would look at yourself in a mirror and try to draw your hair or you can kind of um, look like Google different um, styles of hair. I am going to go over how to do a boy's hair in a little bit. So this is just like a basic like bun pulled back. So you can see like with the lines going back to the hair, I'm following like the shape of the head. So they're still kind of like curving. So similar to how we shaded the sphere, they're kind of going like back, just following the shape of um, that hairline, making my bun a little bit curly. And then laying in my neck. Okay, so if you are a male, so this is like the same face. Um, I'm just going to change a little bit, a little bit now. So like the eyelashes, for instance, I just erased like the more feminine eyelashes. Um, and I'm laying in just kind of straight out to the side eyelashes. So you don't want your eyelashes to be quite as curly as we did before. Um, your jawline might also be like a little bit stronger. So not quite as thin. Um, so maybe a little bit just wider of a jawline and then your eyebrows probably a little bit thicker. 
So I'm just going back in and kind of changing these to be more like um, male qualities or um, like less feminine qualities, I guess. All right, so seam, I'm laying in just like a basic hairline, like where your um, forehead goes and where the top of the head is. I square, squared it off a little bit. You guys, like I said, you guys all have different hairstyles. You can Google different hairstyles. 